Good morning, my sister and brother, birthday were here. Trusting that you are doing well. And my granddaughter said, hi. Hey. Say good morning. Look, say good morning. Good morning. Uh -huh. So I am rested today, huh? You rested? Yeah. Yeah, you rested too. Yeah, this one, this one. Okay. Yeah, right here. Well, good morning. Good Thursday morning, my sister, brother. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's going to be, I think, leave like 99 right now. It is humid. It is humid, huh? When we went outside, we just got back in from taking a sun bath, right? Yeah, you got a sun bath, right? And so, um, so now here we are getting ready to do our word devotion. So, how is your morning thus far? What have you had for breakfast? Some people are having lunch. Some people might be having dinner. So, what we had for breakfast? We are having uh, apricot, right? We're gonna have apricot in a little while. Yeah, I know it's late in the morning, but it is what it is. We got out early this morning, you know. So we have um she had a bottle, but um she still needs like a snack, so we're gonna have apricot in a little while. Apricot. So let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Right now, Father God, I'm asking you to decrease me so that you'll be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering. <laughs> Through the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. <coughs> amen. Yeah, amen. I'll probably say I work. Okay, so let us go ahead with scripture. Scripture read is coming from uh, Psalms 148. Psalms 148 verse is 5 and 6. Yep. Psalms 148 verses 5 and 6, and it reads, let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He has ex he had also established them forever and ever. He yeah. had made a decree which shall not yeah. pass. May the Lord add a blessing yeah. to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. Oh, I forgot to take off my headphone. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you guys can hear me, but let me go ahead uh, because I was having a little uh, difficulty with these headphones. So let me go ahead and take these off and then come back. Oh, yeah, let's come back. Let me take these off and come back. Oh, no, that's not it. Hold on, hold on. here. Okay, so let me take these out. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me now. I don't mind. I'm not sure if you guys heard me before, but nevertheless, I hope you guys can still hear me. So with that, we had the scripture reading. So let us go ahead and bow for prayers. We're getting ready to go into a lesson. So our next lesson is many lessons to be learned from nature. Would you agree with that? Many lessons you can you can be learned from nature. If you look at the mountains and you see how mighty and beautiful the mountains are, you drive by, you see the wildflowers, and you know there has to be something greater than ourselves, right? You know there has to be. Then, yes, then you could look at the bees, then you could look in nature, and they could also, yes. Look in the ground and you see the ants. So we can learn a lot, a lot a, we can learn lessons from nature. Look at the ant kingdom, look at the bee kingdom, look at the animal, you know, look, just look at the different things, right? We can learn so much. So it states here many lessons to be learned from nature. Father God, as we go into this lesson, Father God, we ask you, Father God, to open our hearts and minds. That we will receive this information, Father God. Calm our spirit, Father God, and allow us to feel you right now. Thank you, Father God, for hearing. Thank you for answering to the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, let me hold you this way. Is this better? 
Ms. Vernon? You're not talking. Stop talking. Okay. So it stayed here. How beautiful the psalmist declare. I'm not go back. How beautiful the psalmist this description of God's care for the cre create creator um, for the creatures of the woods. Let me go back. How beautiful the psalmist this description of God care for the creatures of the woods. The high hills are a let me go back. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the conies, meaning it's like um it's like a rabbit type of um animal. This, this animal is related to the rabbits and then they call them um, conies. And it stated here, Psalms 104, verse 18. Oh. He sends the spring to run, to, to run amongst the hills where the birds have their habitation and sing amongst the branches. You want to go down? You cannot go down right now. Uh -uh. You cannot go down right now. Come on back. You cannot go down right now. No. Because see, I got my tripod here. And you're going to probably bump into it. Can you wait for a little bit? Can you wait? Should I got you a bit? Can you wait for a little bit? Hold on. Can you wait for a little bit? And then now we're going to go back on the map. Okay? Is that okay? Oh, you look so sad. Give me a minute. I'm almost. Give me a minute. I'll just start it, but I'm going, I'm going to rush it up. Okay? So if I could get this glasses working right. Okay, so let me go back. So we just said um, Psalms, Psalms 1, 104, verse 18. He sends the spring to run, to run among the hills where the birds have their habitation and, and sing among the branches, verses 12. All the creatures of the woods and hills are part of his great household. He opened his hand and satisfied the desire of every living living things. This is coming from Psalms 145, verse 16. I know what's going on. Um, she's hot, so let me go up it on my uh, the fan. That's why she 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 hates to be hot. Let me go back. I know. But I'm not gonna get it together one sooner or later. Let me put this on. Is that better? You guys is human right now and i should have put on these my fan when i came into the room but of course i forgot about the fan and it's better because she hates to be hot ah uh, you hate to be hot right mm -hmm, i know so grandma put the fan on so thank you for reminding me you feel better you feel better yeah, yeah. feel better better okay cool so let's continue then it's a little bit cooler now so let's continue and then it says all the creatures of the wood and the hills are a part of his great household he opened his hand and satisfied the desire of every living things this is coming from psalms 145 verses 16 the eagles of the alps is sometimes beaten down by the tempest into the narrow defiles of the mountain. Storms cloud shut in this mighty bird of the forest. The dark masses separating her from the sunny heights where she has made her home. Her effort to escape seem, seems fruitless. She dashes too and fro beating the air and her strong wing with her strong winds and waiting and waking the mountains echoes with her cries at length with a note of triumph she dashes upward and piercing the clouds is once more in the clear sunlight with the darkness and the tempest far beneath 
So we may be surrounded with difficulties, discouragement, and darkness. Do you find yourself in this situation, my sister and brother? So we may be surrounded with difficulties, discouragement, and darkness. Falsehood, calamity, injustice shut us in. These are clouds that we cannot dispel. We battled with circumstances in vain. There is one and but one way of escape. The mist, the frost cling to the earth. Beyond the clouds, God's light is shining. Into the sunlight of his presence, we may rise on the wings of fate. Many are the lessons that may thus be learned self-reliance from the tree that growing amongst our plain or mountainside strikes down its roots deep into the earth and its rugged strength defiles the tempest the power of earth influence from the twisted shapeless trunk bend a young tree to which no earthly power can afterwards restore the loss of symmetry you can't don't put that in your mouth let me put this over here i should have brought your pacifier but grandma it says let me go back it says here the power of the earth influence from the twisted shapeless trunks bend a young tree to which no earthly power can afterwards restore its lost symmetries the secret of the holy life from the water lily that on the on the on the bosom of some slimy pool surrounded by weeds and rubbish strikes down its channel stems to the pure sands beneath and drawing thence its life lift up its fragrant blossoms to the light in the spotless purity so if you have the book on uh, education it's coming from 118 page 118 and 119 so that concludes my devotion my sister and brother many lessons to be learned from nature okay so nature is our book our um our school book is in nature so we need to learn we need to spend more time in nature would you agree oh would you agree you got all this over you <laughs> we can learn a lot from nature my sister brother right no you not had a potty I teach her something new and she keep on doing it. Huh? So we can learn a lot from nature, my sister, brother. And we can also learn a lot from a baby, from a baby. So we need to be, remember, we are children of God and we are babies. Some babies, at, at, as we as babies at different levels. Some babies haven't even started crawling. Some babies are still on the breast milk or bottle or formula some babies are on formula and eating some babies are just sleeping want to sleep 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 and some babies are very active based on their age so just like us as christian we have different age some people are more mature in certain one area and then they, maybe they might be weak in another area but we are all god's children that's why he said that we each has to support one another because where I am weak, you may be strong, and where you might be strong, I may be weak. I think I have that backward. Where I'm weak, you strong, and where you are strong, I am weak. Something like that. But you got the you, you got the, the example, right? What is you? What's going on? What's going on? Mm, I love you. Mm, I love you. Mm. Is that better? She gets VIP treatment and I'm, um, how would you say? 
I am charged with VIP treatment, my sister. I said, I'll give you her VIP treatment. It's like, of course, VIP treatment, right? <laughs> oh, what's the matter? I'm done, I'm done. So let us go ahead and pray. Is that okay? Let us pray. Father God, I thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. I thank you for my grandbaby. I thank you for our grandkids, our children, Father God, whether they are small or grown, Father God. I would just thank you for all our family members. We thank you for our community. We thank you for our government, our state official. We just thank you, Father God. We ask you, Father God, to open their hearts, awaken them, Father God, that they may look and see what's going on in nature so that they say something is going on and let us dig deep into the word of God. So, Father God, I thank you for this message. I thank you, thank you, thank you. I give you the praise, honor, and glory. So, Father God, if we have said or done anything that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, I ask you to forgive me. Forgive us and make us whiter than snow. And once you've done that, Father God, we continue to give you the praise, the honor, and glory. And we thank you, Father God, for the power that we need in these last days. And we thank you, Father God, that we should keep our minds and our hearts stayed on thee. Thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering to the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay. So with that, are we ready? So we're going to do the four hugs for survival. Four hugs? Four hugs? Is it four? Yeah, four. So let's go. One, two, three, four. Four. You like that? You like that? Okay. So let's come out the room because you still you still very warm. Okay. You want some water? 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 Okay. Okay. I'll give you some water in a minute. Okay, with my with that, my sister brother, this is Bertha Word. Find me at BertaWord.com. Follow me over YouTube and the Burdell Warrior, right? Follow us over YouTube. Why are you looking at my glasses? Okay, so follow us over YouTube. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so my videos goes up. You'll be the first to be notified. Number one, number one, number one, number one right? And so, my sister, brother, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. I know I've been all over the place in doing this video, but nevertheless, I hope, no, not I don't hope, I'm trusting that you got the point, right? And the point is many lessons to be learned from nature. So make sure that you're taking your nature walk, my sister, brother. Take time to smell the roses. I know they be torn on the roses, right? The little things that, you know, like might get into your finger. But nevertheless, enjoy the roses because all of it is for our good. We can learn so much, right? So with that, love you. Appreciate you until tomorrow. I am not sure about my schedule tomorrow. What is my schedule tomorrow? Do you know? Oh, you don't know. Okay, I got it. So my schedule tomorrow, I'm not quite sure. So I'm either going to be here early or on time. So with that, let us go. You want to go play? <laughs> play? Okay. Okay, she wants to go play. So it's time to go play and then so it'll be cooler in there. So right, it'll be cooler in there. Cooler in there. So she's ready to go to a cooler environment. So with that, love you. Appreciate you. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care. Are you going to say bye? Look, look, look. You going to say bye? You going to say bye? Bye, 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 bye. Are you going to give a high five? High five. High five. High five. High five. You want to do that one better? Okay, high five. Okay, love you, my, love you, my sister and brother. Till tomorrow, be blessed and take care. Yep, yep, yep. Take care.